Now we have to go and find the captive at the raider's base, and apparently the raider's base is at the limestone cliff, so let's go there. Say, so let's see what's going on. Uh, the dude says, get out of here. Okay, activate the switch. So we have to activate the switch, and we're just gonna crush them. Okay. <laughs> All right, I don't think that's... That's a great idea. I think that's actually a great idea. That's it. They got crushed. Wow, why would there be a button like that? Why would there be a button that I could click? Okay, whatever. I'm not gonna question that, so we have to inspect this junkyard now. Let's see if there's anything else here. Apparently, we have to find the captives at the junkyard. All right, so lots of zombies are numbing on a dead body. Let's deal with these guys. There's some sort of a dude up the very top. I cannot shoot him! He just keeps damaging me. Can I hide behind the car? He's still shooting me even when I'm hiding behind the car. Well, I have to do something then. I definitely have to do something. Find a way to deal with the sniper. Excuse me, how do I deal with him? Will I get shot? No, I have no idea. Well, there's got to be something then. Oh, I have to climb on the top. There we go. That's how we're going to deal with the sniper. Let's go. Let's deal with that raider. Now, probably we have to climb. No, we don't have to climb down yet then. We have to go here. No. Oh, that's it. This is how we climb down. Now, there has to be a way to get to another side. We can probably loot some of these cars. It's also sad that most of these locations are not going to be permanent. But at the same time, at least this update is kind of permanent. Even though you won't be able to do it again. But all the new players that start out this game, they'll be able to do this event. And I think it's lovely. I think it's awesome. All right. There was the tripwire and I just touched it. All right. There's the raider. Let's deal with the raider. And where do I go now? Okay. Apparently, that's where we were supposed to go. Let's deal with another raider. Luckily, I brought here enough weapons with us. Probably, again, you could maybe deal with them even with melee weapons. But I'm glad that we brought enough weapons. Also, how on earth are you supposed to deal with this event if you're just starting out the game? Like, where will you get all of your guns from? I don't know. It doesn't seem super tough, but at the same time, it does require some firepower to deal with all of those raiders. All right, so there's no other way but to trip this wire. Whatever, let's go. Let's trip the wire. More of those raiders are going to come through. Let's deal with one of these raiders. I mean, it's not like they have guns, right? They just have melee weapons. But still, you do require some healing items. You still require some nice melee weapons to deal with all of these guys. Well, whatever. Let's go over here. Apparently, there are some captives. That's where they're hidden. Do I save them? Oh, it's you. Why are you standing around doing nothing? Come help out. All right, let's disassemble this thing and let's save the captives. Look at this. She's just smacking the boxes. She's just literally smashing those boxes and that's it. I can hear them speaking. We're almost there. All right. Do I touch the vehicle? I mean, I could maybe go, whatever. We're just gonna go and follow them. Let's go. We're just apparently gonna deal with all of those raiders. That's it, there we go. There are the raiders. They, they're not even helping me out. I have to deal with all of those raiders on my own. Whatever, let's deal with that. Do I help them out? Probably. Let's go, let's disassemble the boxes. <laughs> She's just hitting the things. It makes no sense. Why? There we go, we've just destroyed that. All right, apparently here there will be more of those guys. Can I see what's going on? Let me read. All right, uh, look who's here. So you've had the guts to show up right in my hideout. I let our man go and we'll leave. Nobody gets hurt. Well, I don't think so. There's something... Oh, wow! Leave no one alive! That's it. She just, he just shot both of them. Well, let's deal with the raider. I almost died there. I literally had almost no health. Oh, wow! The guy hit me with a skull crusher and the dude just disappeared. Probably that was uh, scripted. That must have happened. All right, let's deal with another raider. Yeah, this task is definitely pretty hard. I'm curious how would people do it without the guns. Pretty sure it's doable, but yeah. He's trapped. We have to get him out. Uh, where is he? Is he here? You're not taking me alive. A required crowbar. Where does one get a crowbar? Pretty certain we can get that crowbar in this box over here. So yeah, so far these tasks are really lovely. I'm loving the story here. I'm loving everything. Let's get the canned food. And hey, let's try to save that captive. Let's go. Let's get the crowbar. Yes, indeed. That's how you open the things. You just hit the things with the, with the crowbar. All right, take him to the village. We'll decide his fate. It's time to get back to the village and question him. All right, let's get this guy. So this is we apparently saved all the captives. Can I go through here? Can we open up the door? Yes, Eddie, we can open up the door through here and we can leave. It definitely looks like developers have put effort into designing all of these areas. All right, so let's get the rewards for the mission too. And let's see what mission three is all about. So many deaths. I can't believe I let it all be in vain. The raider's leader refuses to talk. I should return to the village and question him more insistently. Okay, more insistently with a hammer over the head. That's how probably we're gonna talk to him. All right, so so let's return back to the village. That's where the village is. Okay. It's kind of far away from us. All right. So we're back at the village. Oh, they're digging a grave. And now I'll make you pay. A shower makes sense. Oh, that's the guy. He just took off his helmet. Okay. So what do I do? Question the raider. Do I talk to him? How do I question him? Keep up the shoveling. Keep digging. Hey ho. Hey ho. All right. Do I have to talk to her? Probably Jean. All right. 
Uh, we have to stop Earl, go to his place, bring something to remind him about his past. Why would we- why would you do that? Why would you want to stop Earl? Let's find Earl's house, let's bring him some things to remind of the past, but still makes no sense. That other guy killed lots of his own people. Hey bro, big deal, your girlfriend and your brother died in that raid, it's no reason to quit. And why the hell weren't you shooting at those traitors? Not cool, bro, not cool. Okay, there's another note. The photo shows you Earl hugging some girl and another guy. They're all wearing black spiky armor, just like the armor junkyard raiders are wearing. Okay, return to the trial location. So what, was Earl one of those raiders as well? Whatever, let's go. Let's show the photo to Earl. Darn it to hell. Uh, yeah, you're right. Even people like that can change. I'm nah, I am the living proof. So yeah, apparently the guy changed. He was the raider, but he's changed now. So I have to talk to the elder. This is the elder? Gene is the elder? Okay, whatever. It's good thing Earl listened to you, but we still can't just let the thug go. Go get gasoline from the shed. I've got an idea. Uh, okay... I don't like that idea. I'm curious what she's gonna do with that gasoline. Let's get all the gasoline. All right, apparently there are three canisters. This is so cool. We've never seen gasolines like this. We've never looted anything special like that. That'd be cool if they added like those new models, like those new different chests that you can loot and get gasoline from them. That'd be awesome. All right, let's bring that stuff to the leader. Uh, do you have the fuel? Let's go to the well. The guys have already gathered there. I assume that's what she said. All right, this is the well. This is another well then. This is the second well. Keep rolling him until he talks. Keep rolling him until he talks. What? Bike filled up. Let's sit over here. And what are we gonna do with that thing? A shower makes sense. No, that's not that. <laughs> Give the raider a ride until he cracks. Okay. So we just have to keep riding around. So at this point, maybe you still don't even have your chopper. So the game is going to introduce you to the... Oh, it shows where we have to go. Look at this. You have to basically go in circles. I get it. I get it. So at this point, you still don't even have your chopper, and yet the game lets you ride the bike. That's awesome. Go to the burnout barn. So do I have to leave this place? Where do I go even? But I can't step off. Okay, I can't step off the bike. Go to the burnt out barn. So apparently that guy told us something. Let's see what the raider told us. All right, let's get all of the rewards, and there we go. We have the fourth reward, and there we're gonna be able to get the flamethrower. This is awesome. The raider's leader gave out a place where they took the captive. It's an abandoned barn not far from the village. We can't waste a second. It's a matter of life and death. Let's go there then. We're gonna get a flamethrower, ladies and gentlemen. So I checked out. We have another farm location over here, so let's go there. We had so many farm locations. There was one here. We have another farm location there, and remember there was another event somewhere over here. That's awesome. <laughs> Alright, so let's check the barn, and maybe that's where we're gonna find that captive. Hello? Anybody home? Apparently there are just a bunch of uh, zombies, bloodthirsty pests. Find a way to get inside. Required a hatchet. Maybe we'll just be able to craft our own hatchet because apparently, check this out, there are just simple common logs. So maybe we'll pick that stuff up and then we'll craft a hatchet. Maybe, maybe. Or maybe we'll find one. I have no idea. Well, we have gotten three sticks. Now we just need to get three stones. There we go. One stone over here. There must be more stones here with a second stone. And I believe there's got to be a third stone. Why wouldn't there be? There we go. There's a third stone so we can craft ourselves a hatchet so we don't have to go back to the base to craft that hatchet. I love that. Now let's try to chop this thing. There we go. We chopped it down. Any more zombies here? All right. There's a dead guy. Oh no. The dude is dead. Check the body. Uh, here's the raider, but where's the crate? All right. So no, this is, this is still the bad guy. This is not the good guy. We still have to find the crate though. Hello? Examine the footprints. All right, the more footprints are over here. Let's check this. No, we have to get the rope. We have to deal with another guy, and now we can check the footprints. Anything useful here? The scene has been examined. All right, Sherla keeps examining that stuff. Let's examine some more blood. All right, there's a... Is that a savage giant? Yeah, this is just a savage giant. Is it gonna hit us? Oh, yes, it is gonna hit us. 41 damage. That kind of hurts. All right, let's deal with that other savage giant. Again, you had to have here maybe a gun or a melee weapon, but again, with a melee weapon, it would kind of hurt more. You'd have to use a bunch of first aid kits or bandages or whatever. The scene has been examined. Let's loot the mailbox. We can loot a similar mailbox at the farm location. All right, there's nothing there. Let's open up the house and the house is locked now. Find a way to open the door. Uh, what do we need to find though? Let's deal with another savage giant. So yeah, I'm curious how would new players do this event? That'd be kind of tricky. Well, let's punch this guy in the gut. All right, there's some sort of a book. Your friend brought along a bunch of zombies. Look for me in the well when you finish fighting them off. I'll be hiding there. P.S. When I get out, you're dead. Uh, all right, so where's the well? The well is here. Let's help the guy out then. A key found. And apparently we only got the key there, not the guy. I thought we'll get the guy in the well. All right, let's deal with those fast biters. 
This is a very farm looking house. We have exactly the same house at the farm location. I can't open that out. Required an iron hatchet. I mean, I don't have an iron hatchet. Oh, there we go. There is an iron hatchet at this guy place. Check this out. This dude had an iron hatchet at the very beginning. I knew that we don't have to craft our own iron hatchet. So I am glad that I didn't go back to the base to get an iron hatchet, even though we had one in the inbox. But you got the point. It is possible to get those iron hatchets. I'm glad that we did not miss it. Say, so let's open up the door here. And the guy's probably gonna be here. Are you still alive? I knew I shouldn't have messed with that friggin' crate. You need this bloody cargo. Look for them in the motel, in the base basement. That's it? The guy's just gonna die? Goodbye. I didn't even get any loot from him. That's sad. Say, so apparently we have to go to the motel, so let's run there. And I'm curious, will motel be the same or will it look different? Find the entrance to the basement. But motel never had a basement. Does the motel have a basement now? Probably. Well, let's open this up. Let's deal with those roaming zombies. Maybe we can even get a katana here for now. All right, let's get this. Let's open up the door. Will the basement be here? Apparently not. All right, so basement is not going to be at the motel. I think basement is going to be somewhere outside. So this must be a bit different basement. There we go. There's the basement. We can see. This is awesome. This is pretty cool. So let's try to enter it. Probably it's going to be locked, obviously. We'll need to find a key for it. Can you please click on this thing? It locked. All right, we have to find a key now. Open the hatch. Locked, get into the motel. I still cannot do it. I still cannot open the hatch. Well, we have to go back to the motel, apparently. All right, anything here that we have to do? Okay, we have to explore. Maybe now we're gonna get the key from the motel. So at the same time, the game is gonna introduce you to the motel. But if you could do all of those tasks, if you could kill all of those raiders, chances are you already had pretty good gear and you've already cleared motel in the past. I have no idea. In any case, let's explore this thing. All right, some zombies are coming through. Let's deal with them. I mean, if you've never cleared the motel in the past, that would be a nice introduction to the motel. All right, let's search the motel to, to find the keys. All right, will the keys be here? I kind of doubt it. Probably not. All right, here we've gotten a grenade. You always get a grenade there in that place if you have a burglar perk. All right, there's some sort of a guy there. I've never seen that before. Wait, there's somebody. There's somebody in the motel. I want to talk to this dude. Hello? Can I get the key, please? I die in here, you're not just gonna stand and watch, are you? That's a raider. Help the raider or finish him. Uh, I'm just gonna help him out. I need help, I'm hurt, whatever. Let's just help him, maybe that was a bad idea. Haha, <laughs> I played you, now I have the strength to bash you in the head. The crate will be mine. Oh wow, oh wow. <laughs> Let's deal with the raider then. That's it, we got the guy, we got the key. Well, at least I helped him out. Imagine we gave him a bandage, uh, not even three seconds of past, and he's like, hey, I'll bash your head. I got my strength back. Well, and the dude died. Whatever, let's get now into this basement. Let's go, let's enter inside. Hello, anybody home? Inspect the basement. There's nothing there. Okay, we cannot go through that side. We can only go to the left. So let's check it out. Let's deal with those fast riders. All right, there's already a dead raider. Okay, not really do anything with that. Let's open up the door and it feels like... Oh no, it felt like some sort of an arena, right? It felt like we're gonna fight here some sort of a boss, but apparently that's not the case. Okay, anybody else here? Hello? Maybe I'm just gonna use my M16 to deal with these guys a bit, a bit faster. There's another door that we are about to open up. Probably we'll have to repair here something, I think, because look at this. We won't be able to open up the door. There we go, it's locked. We'll have to obviously repair it now. First of all, we have to check the computer. Well, let's touch the computer. I oh, know there's another zombie attacking me. Get out of here. So what's at the computer? Oh, no, the door opened up. I thought we'll have to repair these things. Okay, apparently we didn't have to do it. Let's open up the thing. Uh, over, over, it's Jane. All right, we're gonna... Can you hear me? Yes, kinda. Let's talk back to her. Did you have the crate? Great. Uh, hang on, something, blah, blah, blah. Maybe she's coming. Maybe she's coming. All right, let's deal quickly with these crawlers. So you definitely need to have guns to, to clear this place. Floater bloater, that's a special floater bloater. Have we ever seen a guy like this? It's like some sort of a butcher. Guys, help the survivor. All right, let's deal with that floater bloater. That's it, we dealt with all of them. There's the mechanic, let's talk to her. Oh, that's gonna be Jane the mechanic, what a day. Um, happy you're here, come see me at the gas station. We'll talk about the payment. The tunnel behind us leads there. Let me check the crate. Maybe they're gonna open up the crate. Go to the station, I can't even loot the crate. Unbelievable. What is believable though, ladies and gentlemen, is that we have gotten a flamethrower. So let's go over here and let's get the flamethrower, ladies and gentlemen. That's it, our first ever flamethrower. Don't really know if it's possible to get another flamethrower. Maybe, maybe yes, maybe no. I found a crate in the raider's hideout. It has weird military marking. Haven't seen anything like this before. Finally, the mystery will be solved. There's only one thing left to do. Open it. All right, 
let's now go to the gas station. Will, can we exit through this place or do I have to go all the way back to where I came from? Oh no, there we go. There's the exit. Maybe that's how we're even gonna spawn at the gas station. There we go. We're just spawning in at the gas station. That's cool. Meet with Jane. There we go. Jane's gonna be up there. Is anything different at the gas station? Probably not. Whatever, let's go back there. Let's talk to Jane. Hello, Jane. Item obtained. The crate is not easy to open. My guys will take care of it. Just look around for now. We uh, make sure to play the slots. You won't be disappointed. What did I get, though? She said to play the slots, but I have no caps. All right, so I do I have to touch all of these bikes? Maybe that's what we have to do. Learn about the bikes. There we go. We've just learned about these bikes. And maybe there's one more bike that I have to touch. If you need someone to fix up, the body will be happy to do so. Bring the paint and we'll make it easier. Wait, what? That doesn't work like this. You cannot bring paint to them. That's lies. Can I talk to this guy, perhaps? Drop the caps here, pull this lever, and when try it, it's all fair. I mean, maybe we can just... Do I have to spin it once? Yeah, maybe let's try to spin it once. That's it. Let's spin it once, and that's it just for the memes. Now there are more things that we have to do. So apparently this place is just introducing you to the gas station. Find out about the VIP zone. All right, let's talk to the guy. If you don't let me in, I'll tear this place to pieces. That's it. Basically, they taught us about the VAP. There's nothing else they can teach us about the VAP. Gawk at the ATV. Oh, we have to look at the ATV. When I finish with this beauty, she'll be able to take you anywhere you want, even in the north. Check how Jane is doing. I mean, we already have our own ATV here. But let's talk to Jane. The guys picked the lock. Here's your share. Take it. We've gotten another alpha card. 12 red coupons, which is pretty nice. A Glock and a gas mask. All right, so at least the loot is kind of okay-ish here for the beginner, I guess. Keycard to Bunker Alpha, that's where they stole the crate from. Let's assemble a team and ransack this place. My old Marine knows the reliable people. We should start with them. I'll show where to set up a camp with his bodies. All right, so she's gonna show us where he is, where her bodies are. Okay, let's go. And now this game is gonna introduce you to Bunker Alpha, so it is kind of cool. I like it. You start off the game and you get like this, some sort of a story and you progress through that story and you get introduced to the game. You learn more about the characters. There we go, we've just learned more about Jane. I love it. All right, now we have to find the marine. Hello? Roaming zombies? Where's the marine? Maybe I can loot the chest. Maybe these chests are gonna have something nice, but I just doubt it. Probably some scrap metal. Wait, what did they get? What did they damage? Find the shooter! Who's shooting me? Maybe I have to be in the grass. Then the shooter won't see me. I didn't even know that someone's shooting me. All right, let's get back in the grass. So probably that's what we'll do. We'll run from grass to grass. All right, let's heal up again. The guy's doing lots of damage. Let's hide back in the grass here. Where's the guy? Find out what's in the crate. I need to find out. But where's the guy? There we go. There's the shooter. How to deal with him. Hey, sorry, bud. From the distance, you just look like a zombie. How about we get a drink and hush this out? Wow! Wow, this dude just was shooting me with a sniper and I just soaked up those bullets. Awesome. All right, let's get to the trailer then. Sit by the fire. All right. You have your eye on the military's treasure in the bunker too, don't you? Uh, I guess. Yeah. That's where I'm going. That's where I'm headed. Bunker Alpha, I know how to get there and can take you. Told you there's a buttload of gear and weapons enough for a whole crater, but we need a team. First, we need a drink. Hey, Speedy, can you come get some? It's nearby. Collect the bottle. So I'm the Speedy for some reason. Okay, let's go. Let's collect all of these crates. Let's get the drinks. There we go. There's a third bottle. We have a fourth bottle and there will be the fifth bottle. Now let's set the table and let's talk to them. I got everything for the celebration to start. Where do I sit? I'm gonna sit on this chair now. Oh no, this is the table. That's just a barrel. That's it. That's just a random barrel. Okay, now we go to pine woods. No, we are now in the pine woods. The game is just reloading, basically. Oh my head, how much did we drink last night? Where am I? Who am I? <laughs> That's a good question. All right, we've gotten something else in the stories here. All right, let's claim all of these rewards and let's check this thing out. The Marine turned out to be an interesting guy, probably because I don't remember anything that's happened after we drank a couple of bottles of whatever that was. Where am I? Who am I? What's happening? Figure out where you are. I thought you have to figure out who you are. All right, this place is weird. Everything's exploded. But at the same time, this is so cool. Like, this update has the most interesting stories. Like, definitely. Like, these stories that tie you to the main world, you know, to Bunker Alpha, to all of the things that you can actually do in this game are really fun. I love these stories. The bottle trail leads here. All right. They died! They died from the zombies! This is sad. We just learned about them and they died. All right. It's one of the Marines' friends. He's either dead, drunk, or just dead. Probably the latter. Yeah, he's probably dead. He's dead and drunk and whatever. All right, where else do we go? Let's follow here. Uh, this dude had a shovel. What's going on with him, though? Can I talk to him? Look here. Was it your idea to get here? The tractor be first call of nature and then happen the head. You'll be explaining 
Whatever, didn't even have enough time to read what happened there. We have to examine the tractor. The guy died! From a swamp zombie! This is sad, why all of them keep dying? There's the tractor, will I get to ride the tractor? Probably the tractor's broken. Alright, trail picked up. Where do we have to go next? Go to the village, alright. This place was interesting, this place was cool, I like it, it gets my approval. Alright, so let's get back to the village. Find clues in the village. Talk to the residents, I still don't know what happened to me. As my father used to say, if you start drinking, don't stop. He was so right. Okay, alright. I enjoyed last night, but you should clean up after yourself. Clean up the mess. Apparently we just trashed the entire village. Let's go, let's pick up all of these bottles. Let's get the last bottle. Find the leader. Where is the leader? Okay. We haven't found Billy the cook after yesterday's party. Since you and your friend brought alcohol, you'll be the one searching for him. Go to his place. Okay, so what? Do I have to go in the basement? Still cannot open the basement. The door is stuck. Can I open up this door? Yes, indeed. There are a bunch of wild turkeys. Almost attacked them for no reason. We're not doing that. No need to attack them. Someone is eating my turkeys in the basement. Bloody foxes. They're pain in my neck. I need to get down and clean it all up. It's it's a good thing I've had some extra keys made. I'm losing them all the time. All right, take the key from the backpack. Where's the backpack? Oh, there's the some sort of a briefcase. Let's get the key. Now let's go to the basement and we have to find the cook. And we'll find here Walter White. Definitely. All right, let's deal with the crawler. Maybe I'm gonna save this crawler for later if we ever need this, buddy. Let's get a gun and, and another gun. Let's go, let's get two guns. The cook is dead. And there's a wild turkey. Let's deal with that wild, wild turkey. Let's check the guy. We've gotten some caps, some armor. You can win ATV parts here. What happened? That's a sign from the gas station. Oh, well. Did we just break the sign? Too heavy. So apparently I can't pick it up. I like that this guy says comments on it. This is so cool. Too heavy. I love this. I love this. That's it. I think we're gonna skedaddle from here. There's another door that we could open up. Oh, there's a chest. An optional chest to loot. And we've gotten some food. All right. I don't mind that. Let's chug all of that down. And let's go back to the gas station. So the more I'm doing this story mode, the more I'm loving it. I seriously think it's one of the best updates the developers have released. Because it actually feels like the game is getting completely completed with those stories. Does that make any sense? Because if we ever get those five acts, that means you can progress through the entire story of the game. You can learn more about all the other places. And I don't know, I just like it. I'm loving this update. All right, so let's look around the gas station. Whoa, I thought you'd never come back here after what happened last night. I still don't know what happened here. All right, where do I go? Talk to the VIP guard. Let's talk to the VIP guard. We are temporarily closed after the last night incident. Well, look at this. I still can't come here. You're not on the list. Well, I am here. I am on the list. Let's talk to Jane. Oh, Jane is just sitting here. Here you are. You need to fix the mess you made yesterday. Leroy and a couple of other people went to the highway yesterday but never came back. Find my guy and bring Leroy, Leroy to the Marine. We have to go to the highway, ladies and gentlemen. So you remember when we were speculating that maybe a highway is going to be the new location, but probably it isn't. Okay, we destroyed some things here then because they look like they're fixing the things. Yeah, I can still spin the cabs, but it looks like they're fixing the slots machine. All right. I don't even know what happened here. I don't want to know what I've done here. All right, this is the highway, ladies and gentlemen. It says that this is the highway. Okay, cool. Let's go outside. Do I have to go outside? Yes, we had to go outside. There we go. We didn't even go to the map. Find the guard on the highway. There's a fox. Okay, we have to go this way. No, we cannot go that way. I have no idea where do we go. Maybe we go through this side. There we go. There's an entrance. Finally, we can come to this highway. This is so cool. I'm just trying to look at everything to, to not miss anything. All right, can I loot this? thing whatever that is all right there's another zombie crawling out of the police car all right let's loot these bags maybe we can get some sick loot all right we've gotten some first aid kits some bauxite all right so i just touched this car and the alarm has started not really certain that that's the best thing to do maybe should not have touched it all right where else do i go we gotta go here probably there's a dead bull dead infected bull fight off the horde plus there's a radio playing okay I get it, I get it. We're gonna deal with all of these uh, schmucks. Let's say that was a tiny horde. Turn off the music. Let's go, let's turn that off. The guy is dead. Examine the bull. What happened to the bull? Who is the bull? Why my guy didn't say anything about it? Would be cool if you said, oh, the dead bull. Blah, blah, blah. Would be cool. Head out to the farm. All right, so let's check those suitcases and let's go to the farm. I have no idea why we have to go to the farm. I mean, I examined the bull and apparently we have to go to the farm. Maybe that's why. Because those bulls are in the farm. I just wish that maybe my guy said that, hey, this bull is from the infected farm. It's time to go there. Well, I'm going to be the guy that says that, hey, infected bulls are from the farm. So let's go to the farm. Saw a crate at the farm. Deal damage with the katana at the farm. Those are the things that we have to do. Why would I do this? Why would that be a task? So apparently you have to unlock a farm location here on your own. Or maybe that's not what we have to do. No, this, that's not what we have to do. Let's deal with the fast biter. 
Let's get a katana. So we just have to inspect the farm. That's what we have to do. And those deal damage with katanas, that's a weekend's farm rush event. That's what's up. I'm still gonna do damage with katana just in case. All right, there's somebody running there. I wanna figure out who's that. Uh, we cannot go through there. So they've completely changed the farm location. It doesn't look like that normally. It's a bit different. I'm also curious, if you've never assembled the farm location, would you be able to even get here? Maybe, maybe the bridge would be assembled. Maybe, maybe. Let's deal with the fast biter. All right, maybe we have to go here. There's another fox. Anything else that we have to do? The game doesn't show me anything. There are more foxes. And something's going on here. Let's deal with the floater bloater. Floater bloater was eating a bull. That makes no sense. There are a bunch of turkeys. Maybe I have to do 1,000 damage and so open a crate, but it makes no sense. All right, so it says that we have to get rid of the bull, but apparently we don't really see this because of the calendar event, so the game probably kind of bugged. But how do I get rid of the bull? Maybe I just have to kill a bull. That's it. Maybe that's what we have to do. Is that a bull? Yeah, that's an infected bull. So let's go. Let's try to deal with that infected bull. This time, this, you know, this infected bull is maybe it's a bit faster than normal. Yeah, I think this infected bull is a bit faster than normal bull. There we go. We just dealt with that infected bull. Now probably we have to go somewhere else. All right, there's a raider. Finally, I thought I'd never get out of here. Leroy, let's talk to him again. That horn bastard chased me to the roof. Uh, take me to the camp. It's about time we get into the bunker. Noise. Let's go to the bunker, ladies and gentlemen. Say, so, yeah, I'm really curious. Would the bridge be assembled and then it disassembles? Or do you have to assemble the bridge to progress further through the story? Maybe. Maybe you have to assemble the bridge here. I don't know. And I've also just realized that we have gotten the flamethrower and I haven't tested it out yet. So we are going to be testing it out soon. But not right now. All right, there's the floater bloater. Let's deal with the floater bloater. Now we have to find the marine, make final preparations. All right, hopefully the dude's not going to shoot me again. As he did last time. There we go. Nobody's here. There's some shooting ranges. And I'm just going in front of him. Okay. There we go. There's got to be the Marine. Finally. About time he showed up. Help the guys with the preparations. Make final preparations. We have to check the gear. Uh, all right. Wow, that's lots of stuff. That is lots of stuff here in that box. Am I going to get some free gear? Because I'd love to get it. That's it. I just checked it, but I don't get anything. Talk to the shooter. Let's go. Let's talk to him. Marco. Uh, what we're about to see has no comparison. Prove that you're ready. Shoot the shooting range. Alright, let's just destroy it with this gun that we have here. That said, I think stats completed. Maybe I didn't even have to waste that gun. But regardless, talk to the rescued man from the farm. Where is he? Is that the guy? Leroy. This is the guy. I'm kind of worried, man. Can you get something stronger? All right, let's find him a bottle of booze then. Well, I could not find any alcohol here, so I had to go back to the base and bring that stuff to him manually. Just what the doctor ordered. All right, so he got his things. Talk to the cook. Where's the cook? All right, the cook's got to be over here. Let's talk to Jamie. Jamie Oliver. <laughs> Almost ready. So we have to give him duct tape and batteries. Well, luckily we had those things in the inbox. Hey, let's give him that stuff. Thanks, I'll get back for that one if we make it out alive. Okay, let's return to the Marine and we're gonna go to Bunker Alpha basically for the first time in this game. Except we've already been there. <laughs> we've, been, we've been already clearing Bunker Alpha for five years. All right, so now we have to go to Bunker Alpha. There we go, we've just finished the third mission. Let's get all of the rewards. There we go, mission four. Having assembled a team, we developed a plan. We thought out everything to the smallest detail. All we have to do is get into the bowels of the bunker and solve its mysteries. And also take everything we can to get our hands on. Okay, let's go to Bunker Alpha. Oh, wow, look at all of the things. We just entered to Bunker Alpha. Look at all of these guys here. Now we're all here. Let's start the operation. So I'd probably have to open Bunker Alpha. Uh, I'll give the command as soon as you open the door. Open the door to the bunker. But the door is already open. My door was already open. Enter the codes and come down. The codes are already done. Uh, we need to know the code for the bunker. Do you know it? I kind of do. I've already entered it. Don't tell me that's where we're going to get stuck. Maybe I have to go lower to the bunker. Maybe. But I kind of doubt it. Don't tell me I have to wait for the bunker reset. Oh no, we've all, we're have we already here. That's it, stay alert. We don't know what we can face this time. Let's inspect the lobby. So that's it, basically they, this is the first time of us being at bunker alpha. That's what new player would experience. I guess kind of cool. They're looting the trash bin. You bring the coupons, you get the rewards. I don't know who invented this dispenser, but it's very convenient. Okay, I guess. Give me a minute, I'll take care of that thing. All right, they're dealing with all of these zombies. What else do we have to do? There's another fast biter. Do we go lower? 
do we go to the second floor right now? Go down to the next floor. The elevator leads uh, to the next levels. All right, let's go to the second floor, which is kind of cool. It feels like I'm being here at this bunker alpha for the first time, which kind of makes no sense. As I said, we've been clearing it now for five years, but it feels like we've never been here before. Uh, one of the elders once called this door the corridor of death. I suggest you stay away from the walls. All right. Are you sure you want to keep going personally? Um, sure, I don't. All right, so will most of them just die? Or will we just clear an entire bunker alpha now? There we go. Bunch of zombies clear the room of zombies. All right, let's help these schmucks out. Oh, we are in hard mode bunker alpha. Oh, because true, we came here. I think I've had hard mode turned on. So we are doing hard mode bunker alpha with them. Epic. Did some of these guys just die? I have no idea. We'll figure that out. Uh, watch out, beasts are just waiting to eat us up. Okay, before we do this, I need to go and loot these things. So let's pick up the stuff and let's proceed further. There's this guy looting again. Garbage. Go further down the hall. All of them are just gonna follow us. Will this guy die now? Oh no, this guy's dead. There are a bunch of them here. We should be careful. He never managed to assemble an ATV. Kill the giant. All right, let's deal with the giant then. Okay, we dealt with the guy. We can probably get... Pro here you would have gotten a red ticket, but hey, we did not get a red ticket. We got in a chevron. Let's go further. Wait, the guy died. Can I loot him? No, we cannot loot this guy. I am so curious. Will we go to the third floor as well? Or that's going to be only the second floor? How did this guy get here? How? How did you get here? How is that possible? How did the guy teleport there? I don't understand. We just saw somebody die there. Careful, this turret will do something, blah, blah, blah. This dude is gonna destroy the turret. All right, I almost died there. That's epic. We can probably maybe go and loot it. Oh no, the guy's gonna go and loot the turret. Oh no, there's another turret. Let's destroy it. Here go, now the turret is gone. Nothing useful here. Let's go, let's clear the room. Except they're not even helping me. Why they're not shooting, I have no idea. Well, I'm gonna shoot them myself. Let's see, we've cleared the room. Let's keep moving. They're not doing anything. I'm the one taking the lead. Hey, go on, do something. Be useful, please. Leroy, the guy died. One of those guys died. Most of them died. Uh, clear the storeroom. All right, maybe let's go. Let's clear the storeroom right now. I don't even know what is the storeroom. My weapon just broke. Let's get another Glock. Is that the storeroom? Maybe this is the storeroom. Help me out. Oh, there's another guy that we have to save, except we've already saved him. How long? Uh, how long did he last alone? All right, let's save this guy. Talk to Marine. Let's talk to him. We lost almost everyone. We have to leave. Okay, well, I'm still here. Return to the lobby. Wait, we've gotten probably another mission. We completed mission four. Now we have mission five. How do you get life to laugh? Tell her about your plans. We thought we were ready, but this thing turned out to be much more difficult. But giving up is not an option. Who knows what other secrets Alpha may keep? Yes, indeed. Wait, you can get another flamethrower. You can get two flamethrowers. You basically get one flamethrower and you get a second flamethrower later. Okay. Because check this out. We already have one flamethrower in the inbox and we are testing it out today. So let's get back to the first floor. Let's get back to the lobby. You helped me out big time. Now it's my turn. I'll give you some advice on how to handle the things. I'm not quite sure how this thing still works, but having a couple of coupons will help you score big time. You can find a bunch of them lying around in the bunker. All right. Follow the engineer. The guy's going to help me out, apparently. This is a scammer. He's never going to help us out. Just know that. Uh, this place is where you get the goods, but to access it, you'll need a fingerprint. Where you get it, it's not my business. All right, that's where you get a fingerprint. We get it from a convoy event. This is so cool. It feels like it's a brand new game. I don't know why, but it brings me all the old memories. I don't know. It's kind of cool. I'm loving it. All right, and yeah, thanks, I suppose. That's it. It all went wrong. We're lucky we survived this meth. Let's talk to the engineer then. Uh, that would be all for now. And yeah, thanks again. I won't forget something like that. I can modify your weapons. That's my job was. Uh, okay, there is nothing we can do with it. He can't modify the weapons. He no longer does that. But back in the days, he could modify the weapons. Learn more about this place. Open the crate from the conveyor. We have to open up 15 crates. So I check this out. This is literally the last task. We have to open up 15 crates to finish this story. And there are only three crates that we can open up at a time. So we need, what, five resets. Understandable. But the game tells you, like, hey, you need to open up a bunch of those crates to do something. I like it. And maybe by that time, you'd even unlock your choppers. So I went back to the base. I brought a couple of tickets. Say, hey, let's open up one of those crates. And yes, indeed, it's only one out of 15. So we do have to open up 15 crates. Let's open up now here the second crate. Let's open up the third crate. And yeah, many more crates left for us to open up. So inside of the first crate, as always, we're going to get a gun. Inside of the second crate, we're going to get two guns plus some armor. 
And inside of the third crate, we're gonna get here a gas tank. And yeah, that's how you kind of assemble your chopper by opening up those crates. And that's what kind of this game tells you to do. This is pretty cool. I did enjoy this story. So we're back at the base and it's time for us to go and check out that flamethrower. But hey, before we do this, let's get the epic backpack. There we go. I think this backpack looks the best on the flamethrower. So let's equip it. Let's obviously get the coolest looking armor in this game, which in my opinion is the CBRN armor. Let's get that. And let's check out the flamethrower. So let's go to the inbox. Let's get the bad boy. This is the first time when I'll be holding the flamethrower thrower in our hands let's equip that wow this is how it looks like looks kind of cool let's try to shoot it to see if it's gonna even use durability oh yes it is indeed using some durability okay have to be careful with it. I did lose too much durability already, I think. Let's go outside and let's see how it's gonna work. We are in the pine bushes and this gun looks so cool, especially with this armor. All right, let's get a couple of zombies with us. I think we can deal with multiple zombies at the same time. Wait, let's run over here and let's start the flamethrower. How does that work? There we go, they started themselves on fire before that burning effect was not in the game. All right, let's burn this guy. And this weapon is kind of cool, probably still not the best. That's it. Will the guy die? Here go, the dude's gonna die. Here go, we can set both of these guys on fire. I like the effects. I like everything. Would be better if the flamethrower was doing a bit more damage than it's doing now. And it would be cool if we could craft it. I mean, it can be maybe bad like this, but it would be awesome if we could craft it. And I would also like to see if it's possible to go and repair this flamethrower at this VIP station. I have no idea. Let's go here. Let's add this thing. It is possible to repair. It takes 12 hours to repair that. Let's go. Let's try to skip it. And there we go. We have now a full durability flamethrower. So at least something. Still, flamethrower is a bit lame. It looks really cool. It looks awesome. Probably the coolest looking weapon in the game. I mean, just look at our guy. The flame looks cool and all. The flame looks amazing. But I still wish it did more damage and it was a bit more common. And that was the entire act one of Last on Earth Survival Lost Shelters stories. That was a unique way to introduce new players to the game. And even old players like me, I loved it a lot. I can't wait to see act two, three, four and five and hopefully act five is gonna introduce us the helicopter <laughs> and i highly suggest you checking out my raft let's player click on the second card and you'll go to my scum survival let's player hop over to my channel go to playlist and there you'll find a lot of other games that i played here on the channel if you're not subscribed yet definitely make sure to jump a subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos and consider following me on instagram or twitter at epicyric mm -hmm. yep